Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video with you. I was not paid to make this video in any way and I wasn't told to say the certain things that I'm saying in this video. I actually approached this company myself and said that I really wanted to feature them on my channel because I think it's one, very important, and two, going to be loved by you guys. So I've always said to you guys that I make these YouTube videos because I kind of want a place for you guys to be able to feel like you can go to when you're a little bit stressed, you're going through everyday struggles and you just want to escape somewhere for a little while, which is exactly why I started using YouTube in the first place and the reason why I mention that is because the principles that this brand has is also very very similar. They are called Buddy Box and they're a subscription service where you can get a box every month or you can just get a one off or just send one to your friend as a present and each one is filled with like thoughtful gifts and just mood lifting type gifts. Just comforts and delights and things that makes you feel like you're being cared for and as they put it it's like a hug in a box. I mean how cute is that? A hug in a box. Oh! Each one comes with about five different items inside picked to nourish inspire and encourage self-care so the things in it are specifically picked to make you feel better help you de-stress find calm feel pampered relaxed get creative now the company that started this subscription box isn't just a company that does a subscription box it's actually an organization called blurt and they actually focus on helping people with depression so not only is this a really cute idea they actually stand for a fantastic cause so they do bear things in mind for people with depression and anxiety when they put things in this box but it can also be just for anyone who needs a boost or a pick-me-up. So now I've done my rambling, let's do what we're actually all waiting for and it's for me to open it up. I have no idea what's in here. Very excited. Oh. Oh. You are a blooming beaut. Aww. A little postcard telling me I'm beautiful. <laughs> Blurt exists to make a difference to anyone affected by depression. These Buddy Box subscription care packages allow us to carry out our work. Whether you've bought one for yourself or been given one by a friend, thank you. You're helping us to support those affected by depression. So I guess, yes, they're using the subscription box service to help them keep running as an organisation. Oh my gosh, this is such an amazing idea. So there's a little postcard and it's of two people hugging in the street. And it says, write something nice to someone you've never met. Now lose this postcard, pop it in a library book, leave it on a cafe table or sneak it into a pigeonhole. So there's a little space on the card that you can write a message on and oh my god that is so cute. You can send it to someone who might be having a bad day or just someone who needs to pick me up. I need to do this. I'm going to write on this and I'm going to send it to... Where am I going to put it? Where shall I put it? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. That is such a fantastic idea. I need to figure out where I want to put it. I really want to make sure an elderly person finds it because I love elderly people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> First up, we have a dinosaur origami set. How cute is that? Create beautifully detailed dinosaurs with colourful folded paper. I can see this really benefiting people with anxiety when they need to keep themselves busy, when they're either having a panic attack or just needing to calm down. Whoa. And then they've got a little instruction booklet. Whoa, oh my gosh, they've got instructions on making so many different types of dinosaurs. You can make loads of them. Stegosaurus, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Diplodocus. I can't pronounce them. <laughs> That's such a fun idea, I love that. Next, oh, is this tea? Clipper, natural, fair and delicious. Tropical, organic, orange and coconut infusion. Oh, this is interesting. And it's organic. Let's try this together. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've just smelt this and it smells fantastic. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Take the tea bag out. I cannot explain to you how amazing this smells. I wish you could smell. Smell. Can you smell? This is interesting. I really like the orange that's within it and then you can taste a tiny, tiny bit of the coconut. The orange bit is selling me. Hmm, I could get used to that. I would never have expected me to like orange tea. It's kind of like iced tea in the reversed version of warm iced tea. That's probably the dumbest thing I've ever said. <laughs> Next we got this little baggie and I have no idea what this is. It's squishy. Mungo Murphy's sea bag. Instructions, place the sea bag in enough hot slash boiling water to cover the bag and let's sit for 10 minutes to rehydrate the seaweed and to release its natural oils. When ready to take your bath, carefully pour the contents of the pot into the bathtub. Squeeze the bag to release extra oils and lie back, relax and enjoy all the natural goodness that seaweed has to offer. This is from www.mungomurphyseaweed.com. It's a really 
interesting concept. I've never had a seaweed bath before. There is actual seaweed in here and it smells like the beach. Mm, I love that smell. How interesting is that? I feel like this would be super relaxing and something I definitely need to try. Have any of you had a seaweed bath before? Okay guys, I've got my bowl here and it's just kind of soaking up all the stuff as we speak. This smells like the seaside and when I say the seaside, I mean when you walk past the guy selling fish. <laughs> it's just a very strong scent which I personally don't mind but I can imagine a lot of people feeling funny about having that smell in their bath and bathing in it. So there's my bath, here is my bowl and I'm quite nervous. It looks like I've peed in it. <laughs> I'm starting to think though that mixing the two together of your bath water and this is just going to make the smell go because I do feel like that's quite off-putting to some people. <laughs> so this is quite awkward, just sat in the bath talking to you. I don't think I've ever done a video of my big camera while I'm in the bath before. I feel calm and relaxed. It's making me very, very sleepy in here. But I loved it. I had to add a few bubbles though because I felt uncomfortable just going in a bath without bubbles because I never do that. I don't want to get out. <laughs> we have visitors though, Baz and Woody. <laughs> Next we have, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I remember these pencils when I was little. It's a multicolored pencil and it looks like the galaxy or just the night sky or something. It's sparkly and it's called magic. And I think lastly, if I can get it out, there's a book in here. Oh. Ooh, it's a notebook and it says turn over a new leaf. Very appropriate for me right now if you watched my last video. <laughs> it's 100% recycled paper. Oh, and it's a leaf eco-friendly double meanings gotta love it this is cute oh the paper's gorgeous look at that that's so pretty and the whole entire notebook is recycled oh i really enjoyed that i'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check it out if you're interested in it yourself a friend of mine actually told me about this subscription box and she thought of me when she saw it so i thought that maybe you guys could understand the relation between me and what this company stands for thanks for watching though and if you haven't already make sure you join me on all my social media such as twitter instagram and facebook i also have a blog Check that out if you haven't already. Subscribe to me if you haven't already and you can be notified every time I make a new video. I love you guys so much. Make sure you're choosing positiveness and I will see you very soon. Bye! Actually, so I, I've just been a worry to my whole entire life. And I don't think that's, that's ever going to change. As I'm getting older, I'm still worrying, but I'm worrying about more things that are relevant at this point in time. Like when I was younger, I would worry about the fact that I might get picked on in class. But now I'm worrying about things which are probably more important but I don't need to make myself sick over it. So as you guys